Southwest Home Inspection. I'm here today to talk to you about some spring maintenance for your furnace. Now the first thing you're going to check in the spring is your air filter. This is a cartridge style air filter with replaceable media. It comes in a box, just has new elements inside, you can just pack it. It's recyclable, it's a little bit more earth friendly. They also have large cardboard cartridge boxes that you can put in place of these. You're going to want to check these every three months. These larger filters may last longer than that, but if you are a smoker or have pets, you're definitely going to want to replace this every three months. Now another area you want to keep an eye on is right here. This is the drain line for your air conditioning condensation collection system, or the drain pan. Uh, it's the condensate system. There's an A-frame in here that has your evaporator coils. They are what cool down the air when you run your air conditioner and part of that cooling process is dehumidification. It pulls the moisture out of the air, it condenses on those coils and drips into a pan and the pan then drains out this line. That pan or the line can get plugged up and it's going to overflow. You're going to see signs of overflowing here on top. There will be rust, uh, there will be water stains, uh, they might even be blue or just corrosion colored. So if you see signs of that, you definitely want to have a contractor come in and clean this. Make sure the condensate drain system is operating properly. Now furnaces make water year-round, both at the AC and the furnace, the actual burning process. Uh, when you burn the gas, it creates water. The water is collected and it runs out of a drain. If that system is leaking, you'll be able to see it inside the cabinet here. Look back here or anywhere on the bottom. If you see rust or mineral buildup, you're going to want to call a professional, have them come and clean the system, make sure those lines aren't plugged up, and that everything's operating properly. The next thing you'll want to pay attention to is this unit here. This is a fan. It'll draw air through the heat exchanger before starting up the furnace itself, and it continues to operate during burn. If this fan is making a great deal of noise, or vibrating, or not working at all, you'll have issues with your furnace, and you'll need to contact an HVAC contractor to service it. Now this furnace has sealed combustion. It's inside of here. Through this little window you'll be able to see the burner. When it on, you'll be able to have a limited view of the burners in the surrounding area. If there's any glowing coals or little carbon buildup on there, you'll want to have it cleaned. When your heating and air conditioning professional comes to your home, they're going to leave a tag or a sticker that details the last time your furnace was serviced and what they did. Your furnace should be serviced yearly by an HVAC professional. This regular maintenance will help you avoid costly emergencies down the line. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe to our channel for more tips on home maintenance. And if you are ever in need of a home inspection, we're just a call or a click away. Thank you from all of us at Honest Home Inspection.